the enemy, is it? Here they come! Ha! That's that one for us! pretty weak. You ready for this? We can win this. I hope. Crash! Well, I'd say Weaker that's worth 10 thought. out of 10. Here they come! We got enemies! Crash! They were just That's way one too for weak. us. The enemy, is it? You ready for this? Yeah! Ta yeah! Too bad it's for all you. Over. I'm glad Anyone everyone's hurt? safe. It looks like we can climb up on top of this. This looks a little rough. This is bad. Yeah! This will leave a scar. Don't uh. ah! Ah! Mom.
is it? That was they easier than I thought. They were too weak. Here they come! They were just that way was easier too weak. than I thought. I'm glad Anyone everyone's hurt? safe. Excellent! Seems like a fight is in You order. ready for this? Ha! Crash! Ha! They were just Weaker way too I weak. Thought. Here they come! The enemy, is it? Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10.
You getting on? I'll... Do you mean this? Well, I'll be damned. Well, naturally. We're... Wow, I would have never guessed from the way you look. So when is this sh We'll be shoving off whenever they finish loading the cargo. Oh, not too long then. I can't be too sure of that. Tell you what, we'll wait up for you. So why don't you come back later? You know, poke around town. Uh... We have some free time before they depart. How about we have a seat on that bench and get some rest? <gasps> he just came out of nowhere. Are you alright, Reyna? Yeah, I'm fine. He just came out of nowhere. That was really rude of him. He could have at least apologized. Huh? What's wrong, Reyna? my wallet anywhere what are you serious that kid must have stolen it I don't know I might have dropped it somewhere if that kid was behind it we will definitely need to teach him a lesson We need to find that kid first. What did he look like again? He was pretty small, and I think he had blue hair. That sounds about right to me. All right. Let's have a look around. you giving us back the wallet you stole first what what are you talking about i didn't steal no wallet really now you better not be lying claude it's okay if you don't know what we're talking about but if you do know something about it it would be really nice of you if you can tell us okay you know if we don't have any money then we'll be stuck here and we won't be able to continue our journey you haven't seen any wallets lying around on the ground or anything, have you? Whoa, you're traveling? But you didn't have enough money in your... So it was you! Uh, uh... Don't scare him like that, Claude! Listen, we aren't angry at you, okay? Just tell us what you were gonna do with the money. Was there something you wanted to buy? I can get... Anything I want already. So why then? I just wanted to play a trick on you. Huh? I'm not some sheltered rich kid, okay? I'm a big macho sailor and I can do anything I want. Guess I showed you, didn't I? So that's why you stole the wallet? 
Nobody ever wants to play with me. They think I'm too rich and stuck up to be with them. Oh, brother. Well, now I understand. So, what are we going to do with this boy? How about we get our wallet back for starters? Here. I'm sorry. Now, what next? I know. Why don't you guide us around Kurok until our ship departs? I promise we won't tell on you. Huh? We're new in town, so we'd like someone who knows this place well to show us around. You know what I mean? Good idea, Claude. Need I remind you about sparing the rod? So you want me to be your tour guide? Could you? Sure, I'll do it. It sounds like fun. My name's Reyna. What's yours? Kettle. And my name is Celine. And I'm Claude. Good to meet you. All right, off we go then. You got it. Leave it to me. Did you feel that? Me? Not really. Oh, right! Hey, lady! What is it, Kettle? They call this place Fountain Square. Bet you didn't know that. You hear this? Fountain Square is the busiest part of town. They've got a restaurant, a clothing store, and all kinds of other shops, too. Wow, how nice. Do you play with your friends here, Kettle? Uh... Well, anyway, that's Fountain Square. Let's go hit up some of those sh Okay. Hey kids, would you mind playing with Kettle for a while? Kettle? Aw oh, man, I don't want to play with some rich kid. Oh come on, that's no reason to say no. But that's what my mom told me. She said don't play with that rich kid. 
My mommy said the same thing, too. But what does being rich have to do with who you play with? Kettle's been wanting to play with all of you for a long time. Don't you think that's what's important? Kettle? You really want to play with us? Yeah, I do. Then let's be friends. I always wanted to play with you, too. I was kind of wondering what you were like, too, Kettle. Well, great. Come on, Kettle. Go have some fun with them. But what about you guys? Don't worry about us. We've got to catch a ship to get on with our journey. Thanks. Kettle! Over here! Haha, <laughs> yeah! It's nice seeing children play together, isn't it? I didn't realize you had a gentle side to you, Claude. Actually, I'm more than a little surprised myself. Anyway, we'd better get back to the business at hand. Shall we get going? Hey, you again. I think we're about to shove off. Oh, really? Yep, sorry to keep you waiting. I got one more piece of cargo to load up, so if you... All right. Did you feel...
friends. I could only find one of them. Oh. What about your mother? The lady of the house was out of town when the earthquake struck. She should be fine. That's good to hear. Hey, lady! Yes? I'm glad you're okay, too. Well, thank you. Oh, thank heavens you're safe, Captain. Yeah, nothing short of a miracle, actually. But my crew's gone, uh, save for that guy over there. That was quite a shock, I have to say. That bizarre wind and then that horrible rumbling. So what are you going to do next? A whole lot of nothing is what I'm going to do. Can't do much without a ship. Let me give you a word of advice, though. You know I'm not the only way to get to L, right? You're not? Nope. First off, let me give you your royal travel permit back. Now take that permit with you to the Lacour continent. If you ask the king over there nicely, I bet he can arrange for a ship to take you to L. Lacour? Kind of out of your way, I know. But if you ask me, that's your best bet. You'll need to go through Harley first, though. That's a port city on the eastern edge of Cross. To Harley first, then. You'll know you're going the right way if you see a village called Mars. Korok's kind of out of the picture right now, so Mars is going to be the best place to stock up and get a good night's sleep before the voyage. Mars. Okay. You still seriously want to go to L after all this? You guys must be crazy. Easier than I thought. Too weak. I'd say it's that's worth over. 10 out of 10.
Celine? Mother, what is going on here? Is this your mother, Celine? Yes, I grew up in this village. Huh. I didn't know Celine was born in Mars. Have a seat, though, as we were just about to begin. We are facing the greatest crisis in the history of Mars. Elder, we are still unaware of the events that led up to this situation. Could you kindly fill us in? Please, allow me to explain. Yes, Father. Sometime last evening, every child in the village simply vanished, as if they were rubbed out of existence. As we scrambled to form a search party, this man here came back from the Forest of Symbols with a disturbing message. I was by myself in the forest at the time, uh, practicing my symbology. Then all of a sudden, a bandit appeared before me. I steeled myself for battle, but he simply stood there and told me this before he disappeared into the woods. Our boss has your children. If you want them back, bring us 500,000 foal and the secret book. What's this secret book he's talking about? We cannot reveal specifics, but it is a book that describes the unique form of symbology passed down through the generations in this village. When we heard the story, we were all at a loss as to what to do. Not only did we learn that our children were kidnapped, but that bandits were encroaching on the Forest of Symbols. The forest has been protected for ages by holy symbols etched into the land itself, repulsing the wicked and evil-hearted. If they have broken through that barrier, then we must face a dire reality. Our enemy is more powerful than any that has come before. But the children, are they safe? According to a second messenger, the children are being held by the bandits deep inside the forest. He said that until we fulfill their demands, they'll stay exactly where they are. We don't know anything else about the children. The Forest of Symbols is a special training ground for us symbologists. Furthermore, its landscape and terrain make it a natural fortress difficult to penetrate. If it were simply a pack of bandits we were dealing with, it would take no more than a small team to dispatch them. But the lives of our children are at stake. We can ill afford to make any rash moves. They may be simple bandits, but they have proven at least strong enough to break the barrier protecting the Forest of Symbols. Their defeat would mean nothing if the children were to be caught in the carnage. It seems like there's nothing much we can do. We haven't been sitting here simply twiddling our thumbs. One of our search team has already discovered the location of the bandit hideout. With that information in hand, all we need now is a way to rescue the children. Oh, so you're set then? We are. But as I mentioned earlier, we fear that to act by ourselves would prove to be insufficient. Fate has brought us a master swordsman. We thought we could ask him to join us in our rescue effort. Diaz? Reyna? You know this man, Reyna? Yes, we come from the same village. Is this the swordsman you're talking about? That he is. There are few fighting men in this world who haven't heard the name Dias Flack. You have nothing to worry about then. Dias is the strongest swordsman in the world. He could kill the whole group by himself. So has Diaz agreed to your request, Father? He accepted the job. Said it would be a good warm-up for the liqueur armory contest. 
But there is one snag. I'm firmly against it. We know nothing of this stranger. I would rather we storm the forest ourselves than rely on the whims of outsiders. Oh no, you can totally trust Diaz. I know him really well. He's an honest man, and as a fighter, no one can even come close. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced than you to speak on his behalf, young lady. This is our village's problem, it's true. Perhaps it is irresponsible of us to throw it on the shoulders of a passing swordsman. In that case, Father, I have the perfect solution to our problem. Would it be all right if we defeated the bandits for you? Celine, are you sure? Of course. It would be the perfect opportunity to display the fruits of my training. I don't care either way, but if you're kicking me off the team, I'm out of here. Don't come whining to me if that loudmouth girl screws everything up, got it? Of all the rude things to say. Don't you think you're being the rude one here? Barging into the middle of things and disrupting all of our plans? I'm done here. If you need me, I'll be back at the inn. It's been too long, Reyna. I hardly recognized you. Me too! Father, are you seriously going to leave everything to that rogue? We could rend that pathetic rabble of bandits to shreds by ourselves, and you know it. I know how you feel, Celine, but... Reyna... What is it, Reyna? I have a message from the Elder. He still wants you to rescue the children. Is that all he had to say? Listen. I want you to fight along with the rest of us, all right? What? Are they all down on their knees begging for me? I'm going to talk to Diaz. Reyna! What are you so surprised about? She already said they're from the same village, did she not? Yeah, but... We haven't seen each other in two years. There's more to it than that, isn't there? Huh? All you want to do is just... talk to Diaz? Well, I think so. I mean, we've got a lot to talk about. Diaz, I want you to understand. I know you're a world-class swordsman, but... If you already know that, then you also know there's no reason for us to fight together. Why do you have to be so averse to other people? If you think that makes you strong, you're wrong. The only thing shunning other people proves is that you're too scared to accept anyone.
You see me for the first time in years, and you think it's the perfect time to start lecturing me? You've gotten a lot brattier than I remember you, Reyna. I'm not the child I used to be, Diaz. It's only been two years, you know. But... but I... Well, since it's my sister begging me, I guess I might as well do her a favor, at the very least. Diaz. But if those other guys wind up getting in my way, I'm just going to pretend they don't exist and get on with it by myself. Thanks. Cecile says thanks, too. Wish I could hear her. Heaven's kind of far away. You're late. Did that man do something to you? Listen, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but I want to have Diaz join our group. What are you talking about? I asked Diaz, and he promised me that he would fight alongside us. Well, it only makes sense that he'd listen to the cute girl next door instead of everyone else. That wasn't the issue here. I'm telling you, he's a first-class swordsman. He'd be a huge asset to us out there. What do you think, Claude? He said he could do it all by himself. What's the point of having him along, then? How could you say something like that? Well, it's true, isn't it? Besides, do we really even need him? Huh. Well, I guess I'm going with Diaz, then. Reyna. Maybe you don't need him, Claude, but I do. Judging by your face, I suppose it didn't go very well. You aren't even looking at me. I don't have to. Anyway, I've decided to go along with you instead. You? Miss Rena Lanford? I promise I won't drag you down. After all, I have this healing power. Even if I said no at this point, I doubt you'd listen to me. Guess I might as well give up and say yes now, instead of making you follow me around like a puppy dog. Thank you. That doesn't sound very enthusiastic. I was kind of saying sorry at the same time. Well, if you're coming along, you better get some sleep. That, and make sure you have all the supplies you need. We'll be setting off tomorrow. All right. I'll go get everything in order. We're behind schedule. Let's go. Everyone's still asleep. 
You want to be on the road the same time they are? That's not the point, Diaz. The bandits will be off their guard if we attack them now. I know, Diaz. The Elder gave me these mud shoes yesterday. Said something about needing them to cross the swamps in the forest. So, does the fact that you're giving them to me mean you've accepted me as a partner? Whatever. Hey, remember that time you gave me a tiara made of grass? I just thought of that a little while ago. Let's get moving. This is the forest, right? Whoa, you're going in right now? I want to finish this fast. Okay, man. Good luck. We're almost there. Brace yourself. Right. I thought I'd have to fight for keeps. That was it's a waste of time. I just need a minute to you finish this. You ready for this? this. Ah, yeah. Crescent cross! That was Weaker a waste of I time. Thought. We can't walk through this swamp. No worries. We've got our mud shoes on. Oh, you're right. Don't get in my way. We got enemies. Ha, ha, ha. That, that was, was a waste of time. Win. 
Excellent! We'd better be careful! I just need a minute to finish this. What a that waste was of an time. Easy win. You ready for this? Don't get in my way. Kya! Air flash! Kya! Be gone! I just need a minute We'd to finish this. We better be careful. Kya! Crescent cross! What a waste it's of time. Over. I just need a minute to We'd finish this. We better be this. careful. Press the cross. What a waste Weaker of time. Weaker than I thought. Who the hell are you? Don't waste our time. Get out of our way and leave the forest. You expect us to listen to that crap? Where are the children? I see. Coming here to play the hero to take us down, huh? Call it what you want. Either way, I'm not interested in dealing with grunts like you. Well, let's just see about that. Crescent Cross! Air Slash! Crescent Cross! Crescent Cross! That was a waste of time. Great! Those guys were quite a handful. You think so? Why don't you run on home then? That's not what I'm saying. I was just wondering if Claude and Celine will have any problems. I don't see any reason for us to worry about that. Who goes there? Oh, great. They just had to change out the guards right now. Wait a minute. You're a bunch of weaklings too, right? Get out of our faces and save us a lot of pain and heartbreak. You'll pay for that, you... Don't get in my way. Press and cross! Air slash! Not too Finally bad. Finally over. You didn't have to rile them up like... I'm just stating the obvious. They got angry because I nailed it on the head. You look like you've got something to say. Nope. This will be over. 
over in 10 seconds. That was a waste of time. This will be over in 10 seconds. That was that a waste of time. Think we're not on to you. Guess you don't care what happens to the kids then. The more you people blather on, the more obvious it is how useless you are in a fight. Afraid your luck's just run out. Don't get in my way. Crescent cross! <gasps> Air slash! Crescent cross! <laughs> it's finally over. Excellent! I need to heal you, Dias. Don't need... I wonder if Claude and Selina are right. If you're that worried, why don't you go join them? I'm not worried. It's not any of my business what they do. That was a waste of time. This will be over in 10 Here seconds. Here goes! What a waste it's of time. It's all over. right? Yeah. Wait, dumb brat. Don't get in my way. We got enemies. Is that, that was all? an easy win. So you escaped from the bad guys who caught you? Yeah. Could you show us where everyone else is? Are you gonna rescue them? Yep, that's my job. Thanks, you guys! I told you, it's just... Well, still, thanks! My name's Cecile. Cecile? Is that really your name, Cecile? Just a coincidence. She doesn't look anything like my sister. This way! They're inside! Here! 
Wow, it isn't even guarded. Something's not right with this. Where's the security here? We ran into a few bandits, but I'd have a lot more guards around if I were trying to hold a bunch of kids hostage. So what does this mean? Think about it. Don't you think this whole kidnapping thing is just a big charade? What are you getting at? I'm saying that they kidnapped these kids for some other reason. Bingo. So you finally sniffed this out. Too bad you're deep in the heart of the forest. It's too late for you to turn back now. The village. The children are just a bonus to us. They'll be more than worth the trouble once we put them up for sale. What's going on here, Diaz? They kidnapped the kids to lure us out of the village. Now they're gonna strike town, wear out the symbologist, and steal all their treasure. The symbologist is a very rich man, but he's a tougher nut to crack than you'd think. No wonder the boss had so much trouble. So you aren't the leader? As if I need to tell you anything. This converse! I just need a minute to finish. <laughs> Press and cross! Crescent cross! Crescent cross! Air slash! Crescent cross! Crescent cross! Air slash! Not too bad! Excellent! Well, let's get the kids out of... I'm just glad everyone's all right. This isn't over yet, though. We don't know what's happening back in the village. That's what Claude's there for. Assuming they didn't get themselves killed on the way. Bot's just as strong as you, Diaz, when he puts his mind to it. I'd like to see that with my own eyes, then. We better hurry back. What is that? The symbologist that was at the Elder's house. The real him, that is. That was the bandit's boss, wasn't it? What are you doing here, Reyna? We just rescued the children from the house they were being held in. Really? You took this guy by yourself? That's right. With some help from Celine, of course. I see. Reyna wasn't lying after all. What do you mean? The day we cross swords may not be so far away. I look forward to it. I apologize for my rudeness earlier. You probably wouldn't be a drag on me after all. What's he talking about, Reyna? Diaz. Time is of the essence. We must return to the village. Yeah. Rave, Celine. My dear. Father. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank you, Reyna. I'll leave you all alone for now. Egress has regained conscious. Oh. I think he'll be fine once he gets some rest. Well then, I'll go see how he's doing. So that symbologist was the real culprit all along. There was no way for us to know since he disguised himself as one of the victims. I'm really impressed though. You defeated the bandit boss all by yourself. Not by myself. 
Celine was the key to the whole thing. Uh, even so, Diaz was... I'm sure his skills are still way beyond anything I have. That's the impression I get, anyway. Claude? It's easy to lash out against someone, but it's hard to accept them as an equal. If he was praising me, even just a little, that just means... I think I'm starting to understand what you see in him, Reyna. Why do you have to be that way, Claude? Diaz is like the big brother I never had. You're getting the wrong idea, and I don't like it. Oh, really? We're here right now because we're investigating the Sorcery Globe, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? Reyna. What? That stone that Alan had with him. Never mind. I hope you find your mother. Thank you. Hold it! Celine! I wish you wouldn't just leave me here. But what about Egress? Oh, my father? He's fine. I must say, your healing spell is really something, Reyna. I just did what I could. Well, we need to get going. The sun's about ready to set. Why don't you stay over for the night? I need to repay you two for all that you've done. Are you sure it's okay? Oh, come on. Are you forgetting that you two are the he heroes, huh? Of course. To whom are we going to express our gratitude if you two just run off like this? Diaz didn't say where he was going, did he? I think you'll find him soon enough. He may not like dealing with others, but he causes chaos everywhere he goes. Reg True. <laughs> now then, you two are go Come on, come- That was delicious, thank you. Oh, not at all. Are you feeling all right? Fit as a fiddle, and it's all thanks to Reyna. By the way, I hear you're on your way to Harley. Yes, sir. We're going to travel across the sea to the land of... Is there a problem? I heard where you're going over dinner. Yes. Could I... This is just my personal opinion. Energy entity? Yes. And if that were the case, then perhaps whatever energy... Does energy work like that? Well, it's just one. Do you have any other... Th I suppose the easiest explanation... Thank you for seeing us off. You have been a...